Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to give you three tips to cold calling. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. I know a lot of you are scared of cold calling or think you don't need cold calling in your business and maybe you don't. Maybe your business is the type of business that doesn't need cold calling. Okay, I don't know. There's a lot of digital type businesses out there. There's a lot of things out there that you don't need cold calling, but I'm telling you right now, voice to voice is the reason why technology will not completely replace salespeople in the industry. And if you're in real estate, if you're in insurance sales, car sales, you know, anything like that, you have to talk to people. Talking to people is the name of the game. And a big part of what I do is teaching you how to effectively communicate who you are as a person, that you're there to actually help them, that you care about them, that, that you want to you know, help them with the bigger goals in their life, not just make a sale. And through that, you make more sales, okay? When you can create a situation where they feel like they're part of your extended family, okay, then that's when you've really got something. And I call this F-E, friend, family effect, when you're giving them that family effect, when they feel like they're your brother, cousin, mother, best friend from high school, okay? That's the way that you need to approach every prospect that you have, okay? So next time you're talking to your mom, brother, cousin, best friend from high school, you know, on the phone or in person, I want you to think about what I'm saying. During that conversation, I want you to subconsciously take a mental snapshot of that moment Okay, and, and think about how calm you are, how comfortable they are with you. Okay, the tone of your voice, the speed of your voice, everything going on in that moment. And I want you to take a mental snapshot. And I want you to start to emulate that when you're talking to your prospects and whatever business that you have. Okay, I want you to start doing this. I, and it doesn't matter if you have a digital business. At some point, you're going to have to talk to people. Okay, and you need to give them the feeling that they're a part of your family because they are. Okay, they are an extended part of your family. Before we get into these three cold calling tips, do me a favor and click that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm putting out the very best content for real estate people, sales people, investors, anything I can think of that I can do to bring you value, I'm doing it. I also answer every single message, every single comment, every single Instagram direct message. If there's anything that I can do for you, I'm here to help you. I've built two seven-figure businesses. I'm a real estate agent, real estate coach, speaker, author, all the above. So anything I could do to help you, that's what I'm here for. Now, my first tip for cold calling is, is to get over the fear of cold calling because I know that's the biggest part is that you start cold calling, you have all the numbers there, you're ready to dial, and you just can't quite get that finger to hit the button. It's like you freeze right when the right when your finger gets close to hitting dial, you just freeze up. Listen, everybody goes through the same exact feeling, the same exact stage. I don't care who you are. I went through it. Every single person goes through this. It's not out of the norm. This is completely normal. This is part of the process. This is just something that every single person that's going to be successful is going to get through. Okay? So, as far as overcoming the fear, a couple things I want you to think about. Number one, you're doing this, you're calling them to help them, okay? You're calling them to help them. So your intentions are to help them, okay? Stand behind those intentions, okay? That should make you fearless because you're literally there to help them. If they get mad at you, then you should be thinking, what's this person's problem? Why would they get mad at somebody for helping them or wanting to help them? It doesn't make any sense to me. I think the problem is, is that you're assuming the outcome of something that hasn't even happened yet. Okay, as crazy as that sounds, you are automatically assuming of how each call is gonna go, and you're thinking it's gonna be a negative result when you don't even know, it hasn't even happened yet. Most of the calls you make are gonna be a positive result. Okay, they may not be interested in what you're offering, but they're gonna be polite. Okay, they're not gonna be mean. Yeah, some people will get mad, some people will hang up, that's part of it, but that's a small percentage of the people you're gonna call. A majority of the people you're gonna call are gonna be happy to hear from you, and regardless of if they're interested in what you're offering or not, they're gonna be polite, they're gonna be nice to you, okay? And then, a certain percentage of people are actually going to want whatever you're offering, and you're gonna actually create business out of this. Okay, what's so crazy is that I've seen so many people and I've helped so many people start to make cold calls and they, they start out just absolutely against it, scared of it, never gonna do it. 
then they start doing it a little bit, then before you know it, they're um, completely addicted to it. That you can't, I can't get them off the phone now. Right, they're just addicted to talking to people, communicating with people, getting better and better and better as they go along, and it just creates so much business. When you talk to people and they can hear your voice, they feel so much more connected to you than a postcard, an email, a social media. They feel so much more connected to you when they hear how you react to their asking questions and you know just the general conversation. They just start to feel so much more comfortable. And remember what I always say, there's stages to cold calling, there's stages to success. Everything is stages. And the top producers, the people that really become highly successful, they know this and they move from stage to stage. They don't let anything get in their way. They just say, okay, I'm gonna bust through this stage, go to the next stage, next stage, next stage, until they just get to the top. And then they keep going. Once they get to the top, they just keep going. And they find more levels somehow. Okay, but it's all stages. So the first stage is that you're scared. The next stage is you do it and you realize it's not as bad as I thought, right? And you, you do it more. And then you realize, oh, I, I can do this. Okay, then you start to realize what you need to say. So you start saying, you know, using scripts and you know what to say. Then you go to, okay, now I know what to say, but I'm not getting quite the reaction, so I need to figure out how to say it. Okay, then you start changing your tone, the speed of voice, you start tweaking what you're saying, tweaking a little word here and there. Next thing you know, you're at the next stage, which is learning how to read people on the phone. Now you're having real conversations and you're going back and forth. You're actually listening to them. Okay, you're asking questions and you're listening to the feedback, you're listening to the answer and you're using that to help them, right? And to, to build your business and to build your brand.